Hello, luminous souls. So tomorrow we have a new moon in Scorpio. And I was asking the source, what message do I need to share with you guys? And this is what came through. And it's quite brutal. So um, this is just for brave souls. So you can still switch this off. All right, so here it, how it goes. When I was tuning into you, most of you, and asking, why are you not totally happy? Why are you not totally successful? Why aren't you totally abundant and just living it up? And the answer is that you are ignoring your dreams your desires, your goals, and therefore, on some level, yourself. What I saw was basically that partially you're not like fully utilizing source energy, your life force energy, and all the inspiration that is available to you because your dreams and visions are like floating somewhere above you, above your life, why while you are distracted with like petty little nonsense obviously not all of you and i'm just really going for in the scorpio way so just pick whatever resonates and leave the rest right um so you're being distracted with like people pleasing uh worrying about what other people are doing worrying about uh, worrying about competition excessively checking social media, watching Netflix, watching TV, um, talking to people for two hours instead of one hour, like just being distracted with nonsense while your life is just like fading away. Your time is going and you're just like wasting it basically. And so what happens when we don't manifest our dreams, our visions, especially as starseeds and light workers. You know what happens? We die unfulfilled, pissed off, feeling full of regret, resentment, and just thinking, what the fuck was I doing there? Like, why did I not actually do what I really wanted to do? Why was I so tangled with other people and like politics and fuck knows? Right? You know how a lot of people who um, are on their deathbed like share these kind of things. And it sucks when that happens. And you know what else? If you don't fulfill your dreams, your visions, your mission, you are also not being the best you can be for other people around you. So a lot of us, especially women, think like, Oh, we're gonna I'm gonna sacrifice myself sacrifice myself and and like for others and that's how they're gonna get the most benefit no because when you are living a dreams and visions that's only when you're really radiating your full potential your codes and then you are actually able to be the most benefit for everyone around you right so it's an illusion that if you if you let go of your dreams and and what's important for you that you're actually more for others you're actually less so you're not actually doing anyone any favors by giving up on yourself and your dreams. I know this sounds so hardcore, but I hope it helps. So basically, it is time to start taking your dreams and visions, your desires seriously, because your dreams, desires and visions are God-given. Source of all that is, the highest intelligence, is working through you, living through you, and giving you all of these desires and these, I mean, high desires and uh, visions and dreams. And when you actually say yes to them, that's when you get the energy, that's when you get the support, that's when you get the success and abundance flowing to you effortlessly, right? And that's when you start really making a difference in the world. That's where your loved ones are really like, whoa, maybe they are not going to be like that at the start because they'll be like, what just happened? But eventually they will. So what can you do now to start taking your dreams? Let's start with one that you thought maybe you're not worthy of. Maybe who am I to do this? Who am I to be so amazing? Who am I to follow my dreams, put myself first? 
let's just pretend this is all just stories because they are and you can just make a decision just like this and be like you know what i had enough of these stories scorpio season is perfect for this just kill that motherfucker and be like i had enough of those stories let's write new stories i'm worthy of my dreams and desires and i can make this happen and i will right so all you need to do is just like decide that it's not a dream anymore. It's a goal. It's a measurable goal. And you basically decide what's your first milestone. Is it what you're going to achieve within a year? Is it what you're going to achieve within a month, within a week, within days? And just start putting that thing into calendar because what's not scheduled is not real. So you're going to make and decide, okay, so I'm going to give this one hour a day, two hours a week, whatever you can commit to right now. And just start making this thing real because that's when your life is going to start transforming that's when you have more energy more support people are going to be like supporting you and noticing you and and helping you and the universe is going to start sending you abundance and all these things decent things because you just decided to go for it it's almost like as if you step into the hero's journey and you just start going and and guides appear and tools appear and it's fun it's fun. And then, you know, yes, there will be ob obstacles, but you overcome them, you become a better person. And that's exciting. And then one day when it's time to leave this incarnation, you're gonna be like, man, I smashed this thing. I'm so good. Like, this is amazing. Right? And it's probably gonna happen to me before that, because you're gonna smash some goals, you reach some goals, and you're like, amazing, we're just gonna make, create more goals and create more things and, and just enjoy life. You know, because there's so much we can experience in this existence and it's just so exciting, this whole thing. So I just wish you and send you so much strength so you can just finally say goodbye to your bullshit stories and distractions and start saying yes to yourself and saying yes to your dreams and your visions because we need you. Because you are the only person who can bring those visions that you are receiving to this world. So come on. <laughs> and by the way, we have our first international workshop available. It's called um, Activate Your Soul Code. And it's just all about this. It's, there's full of, it's a lot of energy clearings there. And it's a workshop that's done by me and Indra Seiler. It's recorded, it's got about five parts and there's a lot of um, practical things as well, what you can do to to actually manifest your visions on earth. It's for leaders, star, star seeds and light workers like you. So I'll put a link below this video so you can check it out. All right, let's do this thing. I'm sending you so much love and thank you for watching and remember that you're awesome and you can do anything. <laughs>